Hello, welcome back. Yes, we're still working our way through uh, Game Master preparation <clears throat> in anticipation for the coming year, for which is basically here, 2023. Uh, I am going to be doing locations. I think that locations is going to be something I will expand on a lot more than I have before. Uh, so I have a few more resources that I had sort of omitted um, and now I will include because they are actually really good tools. So yes, I'm going to put up a poll so that you can respond to that poll. Uh, my suggestion is grab some food, some drink, make sure you are comfortable and, um, and I will be going through this showing you everything behind the scenes as to what I sort of put together with regard to creating locations breaking it all down and giving you an opportunity to add something to here that maybe I have excluded. <clears throat> I'm very much open to that uh, as a, a possibility. Uh, and, <clears throat> pardon me, the books that you see in front of you, these are actually books that I have and actually have pretty good resources in them uh, around locations. Much to my surprise, I had sort of completely forgot about them. I don't know why. But they, they are actually very good at what they do. So I wanted to actually go and sort of highlight them. <clears throat> One is uh, Wally DM's Journal of Puzzle Encounters. Now you might be thinking, yeah, but I'm not really into puzzles. But the thing is that Wally has put in here uh, a section. It's a, a, a 100 table random table, basically. It's, a, it's 100 different rooms, various rooms descriptions that you can utilize. Uh, so I thought I would point that out. Also, the, of course, we have the um, bestseller Game Master's Book of Random Encounters, which actually includes a, it's not just a list of monster encounters, it's actually locations um, broken up into small little pieces for you. And then the other one is, uh, is actually the Pathfinder uh, role-playing game, Game Mastery Guide. This is the first yet edition. Yeah, a lot of rebranding going on here. I'm going to um, change out a lot of stuff today. Um, hopefully this will be quite quick. Hi Shiner81 and um, hi how's it going Samuel. Samuel is a patron and also a moderator. Um, I'm not sure that if you've noticed that you are a moderator because I did that uh, sort of after going back through I, I discovered I can actually assign somebody to this um, as a after re-watching the live stream. So much to my surprise. Ah, I know this person. Um, I forgot to actually make them a moderator. They've been with me for a very long time. I can trust them. So yes. So yeah, I wanted to talk about this book here. This has actually got a lot of tables in it that's really, really impressive. I thought it was great. Uh, and uh, it's it's not it's not the absolute um, and it's not the sort of thing you would pick up and, and it, it has absolutely everything you would ever possibly want. I'm not going to say that, okay? Laughs and moderator. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, so I've uh, I've done enough of my lead up to um, guess what? Everything is working and um, things should be fine now. We can move on to, <laughs> move on to the, the business at hand. I'm not expecting there to be a, a big problem with adjusting everything today because... Ultimately, the uh, it was always system agnostic to a large degree, this program that I've put together. And because it is system agnostic, there's not a lot to adjust or take out, which is really good news as far as I'm concerned, and for me and for you. <laughs> so uh, let me just, can I find this? Okay, is that working? That is working. Okay, so that's good. All right, I think I'm just about ready to shuffle on through into things, eh? Let's get down to business. Let's get the uh, the job done for today. Hi, welcome to How to RPG. That's right, How to RPG. How to Role Playing Games. So today, for me, um, it's all about me, Fred Wheeler, uh, going through and sort of showing you behind the scenes of creating locations. The used to be called Dungeon Master Preparation, now it's called Game Master Preparation. As I sort of rebrand everything and, and try to expand everything out beyond Dungeons and Dragons. That's really where my head is at. So you will notice that um, I am very much um, focusing on rebranding everything that I do. Uh, with the sole purpose of making sure that I'm not operating under as much as possible under fan content 
uh, policy or the OGL, which is currently um, uh, a little bit of a mess. And um, also, I don't want to operate under, um, well, fair use is not so much of an issue. Fair use is something that there's not much anybody can do about. So I'm not worried about fair use in the slightest. So that's what I thought I would do is I would actually show you all the stuff behind the scenes today so you can see what it's like, what I've got here. Okay. <clears throat> and um, I'm, again, I, I said this yesterday, but I'm not going to just toss out stuff just because it's got Wizards of, the, Wizards of the Coast plastered all over it, but the artwork has to go for sure. The artwork has to go, okay? Um, also, YouTube is actually updating their policies, and I'm going to run into a lot of problems by using some uh, material on here, so I have to take it out. Uh, there's just no choice. And there's a few other things I'm taking out for a different reason. Anyway, let us get on with the job, and um, I believe... That is, I think that's that. Did I, what have I forgotten? Have I forgotten something? Ah, oh, my phone. So I can keep an eye on chat. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I did this again. It's like deja vu. It's like I consistently forget the same thing every single time. The, you know what it is? is? There's too many moving parts with this. When I do something like this, there's just way too many moving parts. And, oh. Oh, 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 which side is this? No, that side. Oh, uh, uh. I'm showing holes. <laughs> is that the height? Is that, no, it's this way. It's this way. Whew. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Suddenly my green screen just moved. How did that happen? <laughs> so this is the slideshow that I put together. Primarily to run this, it is following the same format as I have used in the past. And... Um, as I said, it actually it's pretty system agnostic already, so I don't really have to worry too much about anything, which I'm kind of glad. It's a good. It's a good thing. It means there's less work to do. Uh, so I'm just waiting for my phone to catch up. Apparently, it's still trying to cope with the fact that I am actually live, <laughs> and it's going to make noise. That's not what we want. Don't do that. What is this? All right. Okay. I think, I think we're in business. How's it going, um, Fred? How are you doing, Fred Hubber? Okay. All right, so let's uh, let's get on with the job at hand. I think we've got everything up and running. Okay, so first off, can't be Dungeon Master, has to be Game Master, because that's actually IP, so we'll get rid of Game Master. Preparation. We're not going to put plan in here anymore, because um, I was always wondering about whether I should put lesson plan. I'm just going to put lesson four. Creating locations, that's good enough. If people don't think the title is suitable, then let me know. Oh, look, there's a bit of artwork. We know where that came from. That's gone. Uh, how did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> I just pressed a button and it was gone. It just went like that. This, I know for sure, is it belongs to Wizards of the Coast. So guess what? It's gone. All right, so now I need to make sure I replace what I've taken away with, not memes, with a block as a, a filler for now until I can put artwork in there. I am working on creating artwork for these people but if people can find artwork that's sort of royalty free and I don't have any issues with it, it's not going to give me trouble uh, with regard to anything frankly then that's a good thing too. Okay so overview and purpose, inspiration for creating locations, how to create locations, location details and information, specific location, location layout, Yes, that's fine. That's all. That's actually perfectly fine. Although a lot of the things I had planned in the future will probably wind up getting ditched. It's unfortunate, but that's life, I guess. Miscellaneous recommendations. So that slide's actually fine. I don't have to do very much more other than take that image out. That was easy. I don't know if this castle is from... Is this castle a Wizards of the Coast piece of artwork? I honestly, I'm trying to... I'm struggling to remember if it is or not. It probably is because of the, the funny section at the bottom, you know, the transparency sort of, because this is a, a very much a 5e thing that they would do with the artwork. But if somebody remembers where this artwork is from, let me know. Um, and if it's definitely Wizards of the Coast, I need to take it out. So, yeah. <clears throat> let me see. Okay, so, objectives. Explain how to build an adventure location for role-playing games. We don't need that role playing games 
Um, can we put it together? We probably can. Would be a big P, It'd be a little P, wouldn't it? We're all playing games. Does it like that? Okay, it didn't get upset. Ha <laughs> ha! Good news. Uh, what's that, Samuel? Uh, gives me Cragmore vibes, Fred. Does it? Cragmore vibes? Well, I'm, I, don't, I'm, I don't know if I, are those vibes bad vibes or good vibes. I mean, that's the question, isn't it? Are they they good vibes or are they uh, ooh, bad vibes? I don't know how people are doing. I am still working on my Dungeon 23 stuff, by the way. So demonstrate how to build an adventure location for it. So that we're demonstrating, we're actually going to do that sort of stuff. We don't need, don't need that word there, so we'll just take that out. Role playing. Now for those of you who are like, Fred's taking all the Dungeons and Dragons stuff out. We're never going to get to talk about Dungeons and Dragons again. Uh, yeah, we can just talk about fantasy um, role playing stuff. Because that's, that's all it really is. Uh, so don't freak out, people. It'll be all right. Allow a practice example of a specific adventure location. Well, I'm pretty sure. Okay, what is this? Um, I'm Googling image um, section right now to make sure it's not Wizards of the Coast. Hey, thank you, Samuel. We'll come back to that. Um, objectives, that castle, if it is. That, that's great. Um, I'm just going to let you cite it with your lens because you've probably taken like a screenshot off um, YouTube, I'd imagine. What's this, Fred? Let me just have a look here. Um, is it definitely in better shape than than the other castle? <laughs> yeah, this castle's not quite so banged up as the other one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh you're, we're talking about creatures and caves. We're actually not. We're not really talking about creatures and caves. We're talking about locations. So this program, so far, I have actually run a few different things. Um, we've done a, a town because people asked for a town because didn't, there was not enough stuff on town. So we did that town. We did uh, a tomb. We've done. Oh, what well, was the other thing? Um, 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 I, I can't remember what it was. Okay, so hopefully you've been able to capture that, Samuel. You let me know if you haven't. I'm going to move on and get rid of D&D &D Beyond. This is where I'm going to put the new sponsor, <clears throat> who is, who uh, should be showing up early February. Uh, so um, stand by for that. That'll be interesting. That's all gone. We don't need that anymore. Castles and Crusades instead of. I'm fine. I, I actually, I don't really have too much of a problem with, um, if there's an image of Castles and Crusades that I could plop in there, I'm not actually against that idea. Although, to be to be fair, um, Fred, um, I have so many images of castles that are free that I can drop out that image if I needed to. I, I found so many because castles is a big factor um, in your creation of your fantasy world often so I needed to have something like that so that's not actually going to be an issue at all um, finding a replacement image um, okay so moving down here inspiration for creating locations real world architecture and landmarks not a problem books and movies offer, um, offer scenes yes do I need to actually include video games now I've got here RPG video games Video game environments, not video games environments. Video game environments. I know the image is not a problem because this is the Colosseum in Rome. And uh, yeah, I, I actually cropped this out and put this in. This is actually a real place, right? You can tell from the image, it's a photo. <clears throat> so I don't have any issue using that. I won't be a problem. So, and I like the image, always did. Uh, next, Painting and landscape art, yes. RPG published adventure maps, yes, that's fine. And Google search images of locations. So this this actually is pretty much fine. The only thing I've made adjustments to is the word S. <laughs> How's that for funny? Okay, so we might get this done really fast. So if I get this done really quickly and there's hardly anything to do, people, what we're going to do is I'm going to find you some free resources where you don't have to go and buy anything and then include them into the program, and of course, yeah, we'll go from there. We'll see how this works out, but I think it'll work out fine. Uh, uh, next, how to create locations. Now, I've put in Sly Flourish's um, fantastic locations book here as an image. 
Um, I'm, I, I think this is actually going to be fine under fair use. Uh, is it going to be breaching copyright? I'm not being, I'm not publishing it, um, his, his, his image in a book of my own. I don't think Mike will mind in the slightest if I'm promoting his product, even though he probably doesn't need me to promote his product, simply because um, he's got his own YouTube channel. It's a lot bigger than me and doing far better than I am. So it's not going to be an issue, I would imagine. I'm going to leave that. I would much prefer, I would much more prefer, it would be better for me, I feel, ultimately, to promote Sly Flourish's fantastic locations, which is not tied to any specific game system, if I remember right. I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure that's the, the case. Uh, real world architecture and plans. Yes, Sly Flourish's fantastic locations preparation method. Yep, we talk about that. Standard reusable locations are set pieces for preparation. Yes. Um, ensure the location is interactive for characters. Yes. Drawing maps with digital tools or pencil and paper. These are all, this is actually, I don't have to think, I, I don't have to touch anything here. How's that for wonderful? Okay. Location details and information. Right, we got here. So this, these are all the slides. There aren't too many left. Um, I will show you some of the stuff I had planned to do. And unfortunately, they probably won't be happening now. Um, but I will show you what was going to be happening if things had not gone to custard a little bit. Uh, location details and information. Um, this image is definitely Wizards of the Coast, so it's got to go. I'm uh, sorry, but that's that's just how it is. I'll have to find something that's suitable to put in there. Um, is this going to be a, a square or a different image. That's going to be too long. It's probably a different shape that I'll need to use, but I'll just need a, a place marker for now. And paste. Again, one of my biggest problems with, with putting artwork into a slideshow is the fact that because this is all done in 4K live, and I record in li uh, um, live in 4K, uh, it means all of the images have to be really high resolution, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, location details and information. Uh, who created the location? What is the purpose of the location? What is the location's history? Who inhabits the location? Position hazards and ob obstacles. Adding dressing and features. This is all very sort of generic stuff. I don't. I don't honestly feel like I need to. I don't even feel like I need to change anything other than take out the image. So we're sweet with that. I'm good. Um, this is the pink terraces. I know this is not. Wizards of the Coast. Uh, this is a, a painting of what um, people believe the pink terraces looked like before they got destroyed. And it's one of my favourite locations. So I, I've put it here under miscellaneous recommendations. Uh, don't have to be good at drawing a location map. Yes, using or learning uh, map drawing software. Repurpose existing um, existing different environmental maps. Um, okay, repurposing different existing environmental maps. That's probably how it needs to be played out. I think I've, I think whatever I've done here is, is just a reverse. So let's go cut and paste. Can I do it? Paste. And then if I do a space. Okay, repurpose different and existing environmental maps. That's what I wanted to say. Hello Overboard, how are you? How's it going Joe? Overboard has a YouTube channel that does deals with uh, miniatures, maps and dice and uh, reviews and so forth and uh, he's also a patron and a moderator. Thank you for showing up today. Uh, okay, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. So this is the stuff that you will have seen in the past and I will show you what I had planned to do in the future which is probably not going to happen. How are we doing, um, Samuel, on that um, that castle? Is it if you've been able to track down and figure out if that castle image is is Wizards of the Coast property? Um, I think it is, but I'm not too sure. Okay, so this is the town layout. We did this a little while ago. None of this here. This is um, town type, single across road, general store, marketplace, tavern, inn. Gambling hall, train station, corral, stables, if you've got a train station, that is. Um, cemetery, funeral home, jailhouse, town hall, bank, mining exchange, blacksmith, windmill, sawmill, 
Uh, why have I got windmill written like that? That doesn't look right. And that's where my problem is. That's probably what's going on. A uh, wind or salt sawmill. That's that's all I have to do, isn't it? That was such an easy fix. Got it. Okay. Church, shrine, temple, barber, dentist, doctor. I've put them together like that because often they were the same people. Okay. All right. I think that's why that was my head. The image is not a problem because I'm pretty sure I got that from um, Commons. So I don't have to f worry about that. This here is... This layout map here is the your standard sort of um, layout for a, a tomb. I don't think the image is going to be a problem. And this whole thing is reusable, so we can do that. This is the castle. Remember I did the castle. The image is not very good, um, but it's the best image I could find that, that sort of painted the picture of a castle. Something like the, the, the tomb layout, for example. Um, corridor, antechamber, annex burial chamber, treasury, uh, and secret chambers, they follow almost exactly the same format. Annex, why have I got E in the end here? Let's get rid of that. Annex, okay, we'll tidy that up. Ah, Samuel's got a message for me. Okay, cool. Um, I'll, I'll talk about this in a second. You can probably see a few things at the bottom on the side there. I'll, I'll, I'll mention them in a second, okay? Give me a sec. Let's have a see what Samuel's got. I, I reverse image search it through um, Tiny Eye and I couldn't determine if it was owned by Wizards of the Coast. Honestly, Fred, I feel like I've seen that image in a module before. My gut says it's Wizards of the Coast. It's all right. So I'm going to take it out because to, to the truth of the matter is I've got probably 20 or 30 pictures of castles. We can pick a better image if you really want. Um, I picked that one because it was sort of artistic rather than photo-like which means we would be putting a real castle into the slideshow, which means a photo of a, um, a real place. I don't have to worry about that. I just don't need to worry about it at all. Okay, castle layout. So thank you, Samuel, for doing that. I do appreciate it. My gut was telling me that it might probably be Wizards of the Coast um, property. Uh, castle layout, gatehouse, gate, um, gatehouse, guardhouse, the Great Hall, the Chapel, Kitchen, Stables, Workshop, Smithy, Keep and Bailey, Towers, Dungeon and Moat. So we covered we covered a lot, a lot of information when we were talking about castles uh, with this one. Okay, this is what I had planned to do. This is your Egyptian temple. This is what this was supposed to be. And um, the uh, Egyptian Egyptian, is it Egyptian? Oh, Egyptian, I've spelled it wrong. Egyptian temple. I have managed not to spell it correctly. Egyptian temple. Okay. And did I want to say layout? I think I did want to say layout, didn't I? Oh, I still can't get it right. What am I doing wrong? Egyptian. Okay, Egyptian temple. Okay, layout. Now I won't go and type in all the stuff around the Egyptian temple layout. The reason I wanted to do Egyptian temple layout, by the way, is because they follow pretty much the same um, structure, and having an adventure in a in a temple is like one of the uh, it's a it's a it's a pretty often it's a cliche. I mean, it's it's quite commonly used, right? So I wanted to give you some perspective in terms of the reality of what a Egyptian temple is like. There's no point talking about a um, Aztec temple or some of the other temples that exist because they just don't have cavities within them usually. Uh, they just don't have hidden um, doors or they. You, most of the stuff you, you have is you just have a great huge pile of stone built up with a flat top and a little building on top and that's about it. So um, yeah. No, it doesn't need bunk rooms or bedrooms because... And the reason I say this is that the the Great Hall, um, Fred, was used for for sleeping in, um, and during medieval times, uh, the the keep and bailey often had sleeping quarters in them. That was part of that section, and I do discuss that. And the guardhouse also had sleeping quarters, um, places to bunk up and 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 so forth. So there there doesn't need to be that added. Uh, okay, so this is I'm going to start showing you the stuff that I'm going to have to take out. I'm sorry, people, that it's going to happen. So this is the cobalt layer. If I'd ever been able to continue, I was going to discuss that. But I'm going to take that out. It's gone. 
Uh, the next one here is the beholder layer, which I'm going to take out, unfortunately. What we can do to get around the fact that I would still like to be able to talk about the topic in some degree is I can do this. Okay, now we've, I've covered this before, so it's not a huge problem, but I could call it I tyrant. Okay, I could probably call it that and we'd be all right. And I don't have to use any of their stuff. Okay. Um, some of this other stuff might be a bit more difficult for me to figure out because the structures and how it's laid out, this is going to be a bit more difficult. I'll come back to that some other time. I'm just going to highlight all this in yellow for now as uh, I'm probably going to have to do something about this. But I'm not going to do that today. That's not what I wanted. Undo. Come on, try that again. All right. Can I do it? Can we highlight just with the bit that I want? You've got to be kidding me. Why does it keep highlighting the entire... What if I do it like this? Highlight. You silly thing. Highlight. Custom. Highlight. No. Um, confused. Somewhat confused. Why am, why am I having this problem? Okay, just, let's, let, just let, bear with me while I just try to establish what it is, why I can't just highlight the text, rather, than, why is it highlighting um, streamline, no, custom, color, transparent, there, just something, we, oh, that's what it is, it's over here, oh, now I know, oh, what an idiot. I got it. Okay, now, I was going to talk about Yuanti temples, but unfortunately that is Wizards of the Coast, so it's going. Um, actually, what I will do... What we'll do is we'll call it Snake Temples. If I can, I will probably have to make up my own maps for this. Snake Temples. And uh, what was the one above? A oh, Cobalt. Now, I don't remember. Is Cobalt a Wizards of the Coast property? I'm just trying to th think back whether it is or not. Um, backspace. Um, Cobalt. Lear. Uh, I am unsure, frankly. So I'm going to go here and highlight this section as well because I'm not entirely sure if Cobalt is a, a, a property it's owned or not. Uh, this one here was this the Orc Stronghold. I don't need to worry about that. I'll take the image out, but we'll we'll sort this out so we can come back to the strong Stronghold. So the the name itself I'm not worried about at all. Um, the art, the art will have to go. So you can see that this program was designed to do quite a lot, and you'll see also too that it's, it was designed to pull from a lot of different places. Um, now, Mind Flayers, the name Mind Flayer is just Illithid. Now, I'm pretty sure that Wizard of the Coast doesn't own that. It's actually a HB Lovecraft um, IP. That's a good point, Sim. Sam, you make a really good point, if it were, uh, but Cobalt Press was using the, Cobalt Press was actually using um, the 1.0a license for a lot of their stuff, so it, the, actually their name might create problems, although it would be a foolish thing to do that. Um, if somebody can do a quick search and search uh, Cobalt and see if it is a, hi Fred, how, how, oh, who's this? Who have we got here? Somebody new. Yeah, Samuel, I, I am kind of curious as to, yeah, I think you're probably right, but I'm not too sure. Um, Garion O'Rivia. Is it Garion? Um, you're from East Yorkshire, England. Oh my gosh, it must be, it must be wee hours for you. Okay, so Illithid, Illithid, I believe Illithid is the, the, the original name, Illithid 
colony. Uh, people starting to realize um, what a lot of this is just going to get renamed. Are we still doing it anyway? <laughs> is it is it not obvious? It should be. Now, a hag, I don't think you can copyright the word hag. It would be amusing if they could. Hag layer. The image is a problem, so I will just take it away. And um, hag layers are... I mean, there's so many different types, isn't there? There's so many different types. So let's just ditch it. Hag layer. And then over here, this is a goblin uh, war camp. A goblin, you don't have don't have to worry about that. It can say goblinoid, but we're just going to say goblin. Goblin war camp. Now, huh, what have I done here? Let's just see if I can get rid of this image. Uh, right. Goblin war camp is not something you're going to have problems with. So, but it will mean creating maps that don't exist, uh, since I don't want to use Wizards of the Coast stuff for a rare variety of different reasons. That will be obvious to you in the future. If it's not obvious to you now, go watch the video, um, the live stream I did talking about all that sort of stuff. Okay, then we've got Dungeon Crawl. This, these are a couple of memes that I had found, which I might repurpose at some point. Um, Half past 11 at night here. My gosh. That is... Core blimey. I feel sorry for you. You're either you're either dedicated or insane. <laughs> insane. So I think we can repurpose a lot of these. The images aren't good enough. So I would have to find something new um, to actually use them as a meme. They just don't... They're just not large enough, the images. They wind up... When I try to go 4K with them, they just look like garbage. Okay, all right, so here we go. Here, this is so Samuel has been searching for us. Kobold might fall into the same public ownership space where fairy tales live. Kobolds originated from German mining folklore, if I'm not mistaken. If that is the if that is the case, Sam Samuel, that means that if it's if it's German folklore, then it's it can't be owned by Wizards of the Coast, um, which is a good thing. Um, let's type in Cobalt. Cobalt. And see what we get. I'm kind of curious. Cobalt Wikipedia. What does Wikipedia say about Cobalt? It's a mythical spirit. Interesting. Oh God, the let the world. This is this is so small. I can you can barely see anything here. But it looks to me it's a mythical spirit having spread into Europe with various spellings, including goblin and hobgoblin. That means, as later taken root and stemming from German mythology, the concept survived into modern times in German folklore. So, it is not a problem. Also, hobgoblin. Now, if you're using the exact sort of way that they're described and so forth, which I frankly think Wizards of the Coast did a really poor job of, um, and their idea of um, describing something is, is not... <laughs> their lore is lacking. Let's get real. Okay, so um, I'm going to just undo this. Did I do that? No, it didn't work. Let's try, to, <laughs> let's try it again. So Cobalt is not going to be a problem. So that means we will be coming back and talking about Cobalt or Lairs. I just have to put a map together now. Why, why, am, I, why am I struggling to get the background thing unhighlighted unhighlight me no didn't do it uh transparent okay <laughs> there we go i got it that took a little while we got there what have i just done i didn't do a copy of this like i was supposed to oh well so sad i mean really i've changed so little in here is it really going to matter in the slightest? I don't think it's going to matter in the slightest. Um, but I will recall. I'll, I will. I will. I'll, I'll rename it. I should have renamed it before. Um, what do you got here? I can't be both. You can't be both. Okay, looking into this at higher level, the little draconic version of Cobalt might be Wizards of the Coast. 
Okay, interesting. Uh, but we can describe kobold as it was presented in um, Germa- um, Germanic um, and, and German folklore, and there's no problem. So, which I have no problems with, frankly. You know what I mean? Because um, otherwise, what would we call it? Dragon folk. <laughs> <laughs> solved <laughs> solved the problem <laughs> so it's not it's not going to be an issue but if if referring to kobold in terms of being a uh, dragon folk rather than s- little spirit folk then da da so yeah i think the the name kobold is going to be fine Might be dicey. Um, I think the the reality is that you can just you can you can have a draconic folk that don't need to look exactly like a kobold anyway. Um, so yeah, I see what you mean in terms of the artwork side of things. That depiction that you could copyright. I think you're going to have a little bit more trouble with the other stuff. But I get your point. We've got dragon folk, and um, or we can just call them little dragon folk and kobold there. So I can use either one. I, I'm, I think we'll be fine. I think I think we'll solve that problem. Okay, so uh, we're supposed to actually make a copy of these things. Zing! That's right. We zing it. We zinged it. <laughs> Lesser dragon folk as opposed to the greater dragon folk. <laughs> oh, something like that. Yeah. Okay, so let's just make a copy, which I should have done before, but I didn't do, and just rename this thing. Um, so that's going like that, and this is uh, game master preparation. We don't need copy of. We we'll get rid of that. Uh, preparation creating locations. I believe that's correct. I can't remember what I was doing yesterday with it, where I had left lesson plan here in the. I probably have. Um, Okay, so let's go copy, let's make it. I go to here, I ditch this, make a copy of my session notes, which I'll do now, before I forget, because I probably will forget, no, make a copy, Fred. Okay, so this has got to be Game Master. Come on, come on, try again, Fred, Game Master. Game master, preparation, creating locations. Um, can people remind me when we get to the top of the hour? Because la- yesterday I forgot to go and take a break, which I should have. And then in the end, I was like, oh, it's, it's kind of so hard. Didn't seem like there was much point at that after that. Um, I'm going to open my door too, and I'm probably going to take my hat off. I'm going to. It's 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 really warm in this office. Oh, that's oh, so much better. Oh, so much more comfortable now. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, it made a huge difference. It really did. Huge difference. So, lesson plan for game master preparation, creating locations. Let's create this do- document. I need to get rid of the castle too. I almost forgot about the castle. Okay, so that's there. What am I doing? What's this here? Uh, this is something that's playing. What is this playing for? I don't need this play. This is yesterday. Oh, okay. All right, okay, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> wondering what was going on for a second there. So we've got this, we've got that. And I need to make sure I get rid of the image of the castle and replace it with a new castle. Uh, that's not the castle. <laughs> that's not a castle. This is the castle here. So that has to go. So objectives, we're going to put a castle in that location. So if I go here and it's under D&D wallpaper, it'll be called castles. As you can see, I have a few. And it needs to be able to be slightly trimmed down. Um, okay, well let's, I wonder if I could pull these up and sort of show you, let's have a look at these things and sort of decide. 
So this is a real castle and image. I could take this and crop off section of it. So we just have most of this section of the castle up to about here with the towers. So we could use that. Um, if there's a castle that stands out for you people, um, just let me know and I'll see if I can cycle back to the one that you like. Let me just go through. So this here, the pointy towers. This is a piece of artwork. Now, where is this? Um, I don't know what this is from. It's not was I don't it's not Wizards of the Coast, but it's probably somebody's artwork. I don't remember which one it is though. Okay, it might be a bit large to stick into the um, slide. Anyway, you can't see it. Okay, so let me just see if I can. Thank you for telling me that. I didn't realize you couldn't see it. Let me just see if I can recapture. Can I capture it? Um, photos. No. Okay, let's try this one. Castle. Okay, so that gives you the folder. But it doesn't allow you to show... I can't show you the actual photo app thing. Really? Interesting. Okay. Well, that does cause a few problems. What's another way of... Oh, there's another way I can do this. Okay, I... I I'm going to have to do it the dirty way, people. Sorry about that. We'll do it the dirty way. The only other way I can think of to make that work is I do it the dirty way. And um, the dirty way is I go with... Um, you just see everything on my screen. So it's going to be it's going to be a funny transition in here. Okay? And then I will trans... And you'll be able to see the images. So sorry about that. Thank you for letting me know, Sam. Um, okay. So transition over. This is the display, so you're going to see everything, in the, everything that's going on. It's going to look a bit weird for a second, and then, and then in here, here we go. So these, these are the castles. Let's just see if it comes up on my screen on the phone. Um, these are the different castle images that I had selected. Really do appreciate it um, that you told me. Dirty castles. Solid choice. Okay, it's showing up, so you can now see the images. Okay, so let me cycle through these so you can see them. If there's one that sort of stands out for you, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call I'm gonna give them numbers, people, so it's easier for me to sort of determine which one we, you like. Okay, so one. This is map. Uh, this is uh, this is image one. This is number two. This is a piece of artwork which probably I shouldn't use, but I suppose I could. Um. <laughs> and then the next one here, this is three. Doesn't give you a, a great view of the castle. You like the first one, Fred? Okay. Well, I'll put a tick beside the first one for Fred. You haven't seen all of them. There are a few. This is number four. Uh, it's got lights in it and so forth. I mean, it, it's it's probably a live-in castle rather than a fortified castle. Skyrim. Okay, Sam, Skyrim. That's what the second one is, Skyrim. Okay, thank you. That's good to know. You love the dirty ones. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Uh, this is five. This is... Oh, gosh... I'm not sure where it is. I feel like it's um it's eastern in some way, but I'm not too I'm honestly not too thorough, sure. Uh, three looks elvish. Will you just you just let me know which ones you like the most? Okay, so that's five. One, two, three, four, five. This is six. So this is uh obviously a an actual castle. Limited access point. Uh, seven. This is down view, or looking down. This, I think, might actually be the same castle as number one, but just from a different angle. Um, that would be my guess. Um, so, yeah. So you get a, a slightly, you look you get a, a look down on it instead of the, the other view. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight. This is a bit of artwork. I don't know where this one is from. Uh, I don't know whose art it is. I know it's not Wizards of the Coast. Um, it's too cool for it to be Wizards of the Coast, frankly, if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> so 
So there's this one with a little uh, moat around it, or sort of almost it's built on a little islands and a lake. Um, it's a, a living castle. Um, forget it. It's uh, its name, but it has um, the same family name as the. 18th. Okay, interesting. All right, that's number six. Yeah, so six must be six will probably be one as well. Yeah. Okay, next number nine. I think it's just another view of the one I had shown you before without the mist. Um, or is it? I think it is. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But that's nine. This is ten. It feels more like a, a house than a castle as such. Different views. Okay. All right. So you just need to, yeah. And then this is, uh, so we're looking at 10 right now. This is um, 11. This is, I don't think this, this is not your normal castle. This is more like a manor castle. Do you know what I mean? But we'll probably cover manors in the future. This is 12. Number 12. I, it may well be a really poor rendition of Hogwarts, if I remember right. I think it might be. Uh, number this is this is number thirteen, which is a different view, a different view from one of the castles I'd shown you before. Thanks, Google. Ah, all right, you you're googling away there. Okay, so that's thirteen. This is fourteen. This feels very Disney. Do you know what I mean? Fourteen. I told you there's a lot, people. Um, I'm not against using it though. This is a piece of artwork. I don't know who. It's not Wizards of the Coast artwork, and it's it's very fantastical. This will be fifteen. This I'm listing this as fifteen, for those of you who wanted to know. Fifteen. Number sixteen. So you can see I was planning to talk about castles a lot. Um. That might actually. I don't wonder if it's the same castle as Castle One from the back, or a different angle. So that's 16. This will be 17. I think this is more a model than an actual castle. It almost feels like it's a sand castle that somebody's made. Um, or a model of a castle that they had put together. Uh, this is number 18. Again, it may be a different angle of the same thing. Lord of the Rings, yeah, it, it might well be that uh, the, the fancy one on the cliff side. That might be the elf, an elf one, won't it? Uh, this is 18. This is 19. I've used this one before. Um, and it's fine. I can cut, cut out a section of it and it'll fit. 19. And this will be 20. Uh, this is the same one as the, the one I've shown you before from a different angle, I believe. And then the last one is a fantasy one. This is 21. Okay. So I've given you a look at a whole lot of different castles. Tell me which one you like the most. It's probably better to use photos rather than actual artwork because there's less issues. Frankly, I think there's probably less issues if we use photos. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So, Sam, you like. You like a lot of them. I mean, I'll go back through them if you like. But so six has got a vote. Um, I got one has got a vote, six has got a vote, eighteen has got a vote, and twenty one has got a vote. All right. So if I get a couple more votes for um, the same thing, then I know what I'm doing here. Okay, and then we'll just transfer it over. So this is one. Number two. Okay. Michael, you've got here five. I'll mark five down. You like eight. Um, number eight. And you like 15. 21 overboard. 
Well, there's now two votes for 21. I would like to change my vote to 6, 9, and 19. Fine. 6, 9, 19. Okay, all right, I got it. You, you vote. You you can you can have more than one vote. You don't have to just have one vote or just three votes. You guys can vote for more than one thing. Um, I mean, I think it looks to me like twenty one is the one that's going to get. Uh, it's had two votes, which is the last one here, which means sort of cutting and which I will I will cut and and shape it. The Hogwarts castle, yeah, but I mean it's it's not even that great a castle. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's it is somebody else's IP. I would prefer not to select it my, myself. I think that we're probably better off not to go grabbing somebody else's IP and uh, sticking it to the slideshow just in case. I don't know how you, um, strict YouTube is going to be around the images thing. So um, so yes, unless you guys have have anything else you want to say, I will probably uh, pick this one here. Twenty one is good. Okay, 21. Yeah, 21. Okay, 21. 21 it is. Okay, so I will uh, I will adjust it. I'll make some adjustments. So, uh, funny transition. And we'll go back to here. Transition over. So you've got that image now. Okay, so I will do a little cutty choppy, um, which you won't get to see because it's just going to be too much of a pain. <laughs> Ah, oh, pardon me. Okay, so let's take this, put it through Paint 3D. Paint 3D is one of the, do you know, Paint and Paint 3D is how I do a lot of my things. Even some of the more complicated, silly stuff that I've put together in the past, trust me, I keep it simple. I really do. It's, uh, it's just, it's just my way. <laughs> um, and I need to make sure Need to make absolutely sure that what I'm doing here is going to work. So close this. Have a look here. It's got to be square or 4x3 is probably right. 4x3. We'll check to see if 4x3 is going to work. And I just need to position it so we get most of the castle in. So you can see what's going on. Ah actually probably go that way can't we and then you get more of the other stuff down below so that's a lot more going on there that's a bit more interesting let's see if that works I go down here and save as a uh, JPEG and it's going to go where is it going to go it has to go where I can use it um, building no it's locations creating locations castle one and let's see if that is going to transition easily enough. Um, nope, nope, that's not what I want. I want to go here, somewhere. Ah, uh, no, no, there. And in here, and there it is. And we copy it, and I should be able to just drop it down into here, like so. Paste. <clears throat> so that would be the image. Is that going to work in that space? Um, distance, distance, distance. Uh, it's not too bad. I think that's that's given us the basic sort of image um, of it. That, that, that sort of fits the space. That's not too bad. I think we can we can live with that. If you can live with that, I can live with that. I think that's going to be fine. Um, and maybe just just a tad down. Yeah. Yep. Plenty of, plenty of good spacing there. So I think that's um that's done. Sweet. Cool. Let's have a look at what the time is. We're doing all right so far. Um, I will shuffle over here and start making some adjustments to this. This is the game master now. Game master preparation. Oh, my eyes are. Back and forth all the time. Game master. Preparation. Creating locations. Lesson plan for game master. Preparation. Yep. 
You, what can't you live with? You can't live with something. What can't you live with? Let me know. You can't live with 21. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> uh, for Game Master, Reparation, Creating Locations, that is there. Oh, gla glasses are back on again. Um, right, so. Educational standards. Um, so even, even there's, there's really no educational standards in here. I'm just going to put down... Game Master um, Guides uh, That's probably good enough for that section Guides and Core Rules Okay, that's, that's fine um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think what would be the resources we're using here, and it's 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 hard. Um, actually, maybe this is where I should mention. No, I'll put that under resources instead. Okay, let's put role playing game. Um. Um. Playing games. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Tools. I don't know what else to put in here for now. I'm I'm a little bit stuck. This here I need to change. This is going to have to be game master. Game masters. Game master guide. Game master guide on preparation for role playing games. Role playing games. Um, there's nothing quick and simple about this, unfortunately. So we can get rid of that. That doesn't relate it at all. Uh, this is okay. We'll do that. That's fine. I can live with that. Grammar checker. Okay. So this is where we need to break down each thing and what I'm covering. Um, and I did have an overview, so I can use the overview as my source for this. Uh, the topics covered are, whoops, topics covered are, and then I need to make a list of all of the object, uh, overview stuff here. <coughs> So let's just put this down, I guess. Um, one. Inspiration. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's one o'clock. I probably go should take a quick break and then come back. Otherwise, I will forget. So I think what I will do is I will I will take a break in a second. I'll just write these down first. I'm going to ask you a question in chat um, while I'm doing this. So you have uh, something to think about. Don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Okay. Hashtag. Question for you. What location resources, resources, do you use? I'm going to ask you, there's so many of you who are patrons in here watching and listening. I'm kind of question, I'm curious as to what resources you are using to create your locations. Um, I mean, I'll obviously add in the ones that I have. But still interested in what you're currently using yourself. Okay, so, inspiration... For creating creating locations, uh, how to create your location, 
location details. <clears throat> details and information. And uh, four would be specific location. So this is not going to take me very long to get through the session notes that I've created, which means we're probably going to be able to add a lot of new stuff in here. I don't know necessarily if there's exactly what I think we need to have out there, but we'll see. I think we're going to be, I'll do better than trying to find monster um, builders. I think I found a monster builder for Starfinder yesterday. Uh, much to my surprise, I wasn't expecting that, but I did find one. Uh, I also found that there are so few tools for building monsters. There's plenty of stuff for everything else. But when it comes to building monsters, there's hardly anything. I take inspiration from TV shows and movies that I like, and I, um, and I, tw I tweak them. Yeah, for location ideas, I do like I islands as locations because you can do pretty much anything. It also sets up a nice border. You, you don't have to worry about your players going too far. When you put them on an island, they can only go as far as the border of the island. And if they leave the island, then there's an, a long ocean voyage. <laughs> Top of the hour. You're, you're absolutely right. I need to go and take a break. I will come back to doing filling in these details. And um, this gives you a bit of time to think about the sort of resources you use. If you don't use resources, don't worry. I'm going to give you a whole lot of resources that I use. So it's, it's not the end of the world. Um will solve a lot of that anyway so let me just go over to where's, where is um, my break scene yeah I will be back in about five minutes or less <clears throat> okay true borders are set all right i'm i'm back let's <clears throat> let's see what we're doing here um <clears throat> what do you got here um 
Samuel. I mostly just get an idea and then flesh it out from there. One of the cool things D&D lets um, us do before the dark times <laughs> um, <clears throat> was to insert whatever we built into a pre-existing world, tweak it as needed. <clears throat> okay, yep. I primarily use, so oh, this is Joe, I primarily use images when it comes to locations. Surprisingly, I do the same. Um, <clears throat> I do run a lot of modules, so I do um, overuse my imagination too much. So I don't overuse my imagination. Fair enough. <clears throat> so Shiner81 uses maps that populate the locations with, <clears throat> with my imagination and resources called the Storyteller's Dictionary. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, sorry, people. I'm really having a hard time. Story Tellers Dictionary. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. This is, uh, I'm going to type this up because now that I've heard you say these things, maybe I should show you the resources that I never actually sort of spill my guts about because I know there's a lot sitting in there that I didn't say anything about. I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch which was like very foolish on my part. But anyway, um so inspir oh, I'll just do it in capitals. Inspirational inspiration <coughs> for creating <coughs> locations um, how to what, what am I doing here <coughs> how to create um, sorry create locations Okay, <clears throat> location details <clears throat> and information uh, specific specific location layout and miscellaneous recommendations missile. Yes, recommendations. <clears throat> okay, so that's done. That's in. Okay, so now go down here. Uh, example for building a, 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 for a role playing game. Just take that out. That's fine. <clears throat> Demonstrate how to build an adventure location for a role playing game. Um, we're about to see all my resources, people. Uh, okay, and allow a practice example of a specific adventure location. So that's all fine. We'll leave that. That is, is. computer internet. That's right. The black magic. Black magic. Uh, come on, try to spell correctly. Magic 6K camera. Add that to the list of things. Microphone. Don't know that. The ring light is no longer required. I have lights and lamps all over me. <clears throat> lighting me up like a Christmas tree no yes now material books I need to add in a few books and actually the dungeon masters guide 5e is probably should be on last on my list because it's actually not as good as you might think <clears throat> um, so I'm gonna put it there bracket okay so this is so let's start typing up the things that I think are really good. The Game Master Master's Book of Random Encounters. I know that doesn't say like locations, but it is basically encounter areas. And there's a bunch of them. I've done a review on it already and it's it's a fabulous book. That would be my top pick as a book if I was going to use for like a deal with locations. The next, next one would have to be, believe it or not, <clears throat> and even though I don't play Pathfinder, would be the Pathfinder 
um, game mastery. Game mastery, I think that's right. Is it game mastery? Oh, it's, it's done that way. Okay, didn't realize that. Game mastery. Mastery guide. This is the first ed edition. <clears throat> Not second ed edition. Don't don't think the second ed edition is as good as the other one. Then the next one I would have to say um, I'm going to say is probably maybe not quite as good as the Dungeon Master's Guide for D and D Five E, but I still put it right up there, uh, and I'm still going to put it before that one that one book. I'm going to Wally DMs Journal. of Puzzle Encounters. Now, I know you're thinking, yeah, Wally's your mate, because for you, of course, you would say that. Well, of course I would say that. Absolutely, I agree. Um, but I also want to make my, my point in that he did a really good job <laughs> with this book. I did not expect to, to wind up opening this book. Actually, maybe I should show you, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go down and I'll start showing you all the resources that I have collected, which is quite a few. Um, the Light Hall platform. Yeah, yeah, we're getting rid of you guys. I don't need you anymore. You didn't need me. I got rid of you. Okay, so. So next uh, on here is probably the, what will I say? Um, yeah, now let's just, I'm going to show you that section in the book. And this is a puzzle book. Of all things, it's a puzzle book. And yet, when it comes to locations, he's got a huge section. I mean, you're not going to be able to see it super clearly, are you? What, what can I do? Can I place it? I can place it under the other camera, can't I? What was I thinking? I don't need to go to my face. We could just show you what it is. <clears throat> I haven't actually shown people what's in Wally's book. I, hadn't, I realized that when I did a review for his book, I didn't actually show people what was in the book. Not that I think Wally's worried about me doing that or anything like that, and not that I, um, I think it's an issue as far as I'm concerned, but I will show you what Wally did uh, on a different screen. This is this is the uh, the book I'm talking about right now. So let's just <clears throat> okay. So I think he fits, sends the, uh, sells the PDF on Drive Through RPG for like five bucks. He sent me a physical copy. So this is the Wally DM's Journal of Puzzle Encounters. And this, Appendix A, he's got an appendix. I was not expecting Appendix A to exist. But it's basically, as you can see, a hundred different room descriptions that sets you sort of like on the road to figuring out, well, you could use all, you could roll them randomly or just use them as they are. It's only three pages out of the whole book three pages out of the whole book and out of those three pages it does more than a lot of other resources have done which is like amazing because one of the great things about having that kind of level of information there and in your table is that you don't have to try to build out too much it's already there you just need to uh, um, um, build on top of what is already done it's really a, it's a they're all like room descriptions and they're quite unique and unusual, which will make them stand out as far as I'm concerned. So, um, yeah, I'm, I thought I would show you that since it's actually pretty cool. Um, I'm looking forward to his next book. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what he's going to wind up trying to do. He told me that actually creating that table was a lot of hard work. <laughs> and I, I don't doubt it at all. Um, but they are easily used. I mean, that's 100 different rooms that you can use um, over time. Okay, so let's have a look here. Um, I use maps, then populate the locations with my imagination or resources called... Sorry, I got that. I have that book, Fred, Encounter, Encounters book, uh, based on your recommendation. Yeah, yeah, the um, the Random Encounters book, Game Master's um, uh, got a book of Random Encounters. It's, it's, a, it's a good book, it really is. I've gone with what my players and I myself already know. I've, I'm using an enlarged Yorkshire as my homeworld, with names slightly changed and places already familiar to our minds. Interesting. So you've used the, the you've actually used a real map of the world. Very, very cool. 
Okay, so now that I've done this, um, I've got a few different things in here that I've put down that I needed to have, Aztec farmhouse. Um, so you might have see, the, see these image details. These are things that I was planning to do. I've already done the tomb layout. Pyramid layout I haven't done yet. The concentric castle layout, well, we've kind of done the castle. Tavern, I haven't done a tavern or a pub floor plan yet, but I will. Um, there are plenty of taverns in the world that we can use. Uh, the graveyard layout, I haven't done that. The church layout, I haven't done that. The Aztec temple, I haven't done. Farmhouse layout, the city layout, catacombs layout, uh, coal mine layout, ship deck plan. Um, these, are, these are things I don't think it's going to be hard to get hold of. Right, so the history of England as a resource. This is for medieval castles. So I actually used this to get a lot of the information I required. Because surprisingly, it's hard to find something that's fairly definitive. So I wonder if I can pump this in here and um, it'll pull it up so you can see. Okay, so yeah. This is where I got the original map, and it breaks down each location for you. It sort of explains what each thing was supposed to do. The, I didn't. This what I found was probably the best resource on the internet with regard to castles and how they were used. Okay, if you want something that's David does a great job. David, um, is it Crowther? Crowther. I think it's Crowther. Does a great job of breaking it down compared to anywhere else. Short of going and buying a book, if you look on the internet, I think that this guy does probably the best job of that. So if you are wondering uh, where I got all those resources from, it is the history of England and um, medieval castles is the, is the thing that uh, I looked up on that site. Pretty good resource. Uh, what else did I have here? The history, history on the internet. This was the Egyptian, Egyptian, uh, pyramids um, now you can you can look all this stuff up yourself I know but you probably find that when you look for stuff you, you get a, a mixed bag this was probably the best resource and this is the resource I will use this is a resource I've actually used in the past um, real maps tend to be realistic um, but we need to enlarge most buildings because of five foot squares and Eating up rooms fast. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally get what you mean. But the, you use them as a template to, to build off. It's, it's a starting point. Um, so this is basically how they construct it inside the car, the, the pyramid. Um, it gives you a little bit of information. I, I pulled this one primarily because it was... It's, it's nice and condensed, basically. That's really the only reason I use this particular um, link. Uh, this one I use for the tombs. It's just Wikipedia, basically. Tutankhamun's tomb is probably the, even though it was rushed, it's probably one of the better examples um, that you can get. Because there's not really a lot about other people's um, um, tombs in e Egypt. And we, we base a lot of our sort of tombs off this anyway, whether you realize it or not. So it has a lot of the information on it. It has sort of the the, the layouts. There's a lot of um, hidden chambers in his um, his tomb. That haven't been explored and they can't get to them <laughs> uh, some you just can't get to without destroying something or can't get there because it's dangerous like there there are there are things in place that would cause problems so wikipedia uh tomb of tutankham calm 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 him oh god all right i'm losing it dungeon scroll i've i've pointed you people towards uh, a map making tool dungeon scroll in the past but i will put it I'll put it here so that you can see it. It has changed a lot. The older version I liked more. The new version I get lost. It takes me a long time. So do not do not attempt to use old school dungeon scroll um, on it's it's web based, right? And yes, you can port out your um, uh, your maps, but don't do it unless you have lots of time to burn. Okay, because it will take a little fiddle, a lot of fiddling around. Um, that's what I found anyway. Um, there is a fantasy map generator here. Oh my god, there's so many things here that I've I've collected over time. I've got dungeon scroll there twice too. Uh, copy. So if you're wanting to just create a, a fantasy map and you don't really want to sort of mess around, then this this will do it. Okay, this is your sort of your 
your wi- wider world um, sort of map builder, um, if that's what you're after, this is what this will do. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's just called Fantasy Map Generator. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here? Mm, yeah, I do want to leave it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to use it, people. You can install it too, but I, I'm yeah. I'm just going to leave it. You know where it is. Um, what else do I have here? Ah, dungeon scroll. I will take out dungeon scroll because I've already got dungeon scroll in here. Uh, what else was there? Uh, yes. Is it dungeon fog? No. Medieval fantasy sense city generator. I know a lot of you struggle to create your own cities. So let me just copy this. And so I found this uh, a while back. I haven't, I don't think I've even mentioned it to anybody. So yeah, start writing a list, people. So if you want to create your own town, this allows you to do that. Okay. It gives you the sorts of things you might want. Um, looks like it's a, it's fairly looks like it's fairly easy to use. You don't have to. There's not a lot of a huge uh, plan, sort of uh, learning curve to to figuring it out. So yeah. Um, so have a fiddle with it and see how you go. Uh, so as I said, that's called medieval fantasy city generator. Medieval fantasy city generator. Okay. So that's that one. I'll close it. I'm not going to use it. There's a menu right here. Go to the menu and do what you need to do. Make a new city, blah, 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 and go from there. Yes, you can export stuff. There's a PNG option. Okay. All right. So let's close that one. That solves a part of your problems. Now, Dungeon Fog, I can't remember if they're free or paid now. Um, I remember when Dungeon Fog originally came and asked uh, me to, uh, if they could sponsor or get me to talk about their product, and I said no. <laughs> um, I do that a lot, people. If you were wondering, do I actually... Uh, <laughs> I do it a lot. Dungeon Fog. What do I do? I want to accept all the cookies, I suppose. It's a Dungeon Fog. I find this will suck your time away. I haven't really used it that much. When I did start using it, I was like, oh, way. I need to have like a day to fiddle around with this thing. <clears throat> You're welcome, Samuel. Can I put that in the, uh, the chat so I can um, copy-paste it? Uh, can you put it in the chat? Which one do you want? Tell me, Samuel, which one which one do you want in the uh, in the chat? And I will I'll drop it in. I don't want to drop all of them in because I'll be jumping back and forth like a, a, a red herring trying to do that. Um, okay, I don't know why we are doing all this thread. D&D Beyond is replacing um, DM soon. Uh, so they, they've tried to do this in the past. I mean, it might work for some people. Um, but ultimately it is, it is still turning D&D into a video game, uh, once you start doing that. And there are people who don't want that. <laughs> um, we will all just turn into players soon. You reckon? Nobody be be a dungeon master. AI DMs are the future people. All we ask is, is that you give Hasbro your money. <laughs> um, the map creator, but I wrote it down for it. What, what was it called? There's so many map creators that I've just shown you. Link in the doc with all of the, the links. Yeah, it is in the document that I for my lesson plan. And the intention was always, you haven't got it because I hadn't completed it. I'd been giving myself time to actually finalize all the stuff for Patreon. I was going to just provide you with all that stuff on Patreon. Um, copy, paste, and drop it into a document. Um, which probably I could do um on friday if i have time i have a dm round, uh, game master roundtable but i also have a more of this going on um so i could probably do that uh what else is there so i don't want to show you all these things because it's probably in carter is here um pen dice and pencil um hex roll generator which i think i've shown people before donjon is here uh pro fantasy is here uh, dungeon, so Dyson Logos maps are all here. There's a website. He has free maps. You can grab them. Um, fantastic maps. Oh, Medieval Fantasy City Generator was my, was, uh, was, was this a test? No, it wasn't a test. Pardon me. Um, fantastic maps is also a really good free resource you can use. Um, I'm not going to show you all these. I want to just get this done, people. Um, and then the uh, D&D Compendium. Would you believe it? The D&D Compendium has a lot of map resources. Um, 
and then the D&D wiki has adventure locations and ideas like there's a whole bunch so you don't even have to go and buy a Wizards of the Coast book you can go online I should show you this <laughs> I should show you this if you didn't realize it existed I said I wasn't going to do this but I'm, I'm going to show it to you anyway um, don't spend a cent so this here breaks everything down you just go down the side panel sign this is wilderness under dark like it's got everything under the sun you might need so there's a whole lot of different ideas here uh, this is a big page okay so yeah if you're thinking you didn't have enough information well that's it's really tiny I do realize <laughs> but yeah so that's another resource and okay and in the future I'll be doing large paper page and black marker pen, uh, pencil and black marker uh, for doing maps in the future um, rubber Oh, that's right. I remember you North. If the North Americans get confused, eraser. It's it's an eraser. Okay, it's not a condom. Okay, I'm I'm in New Zealand. We call them a rubber, uh, with the thing at the end of the pencil. And so, okay, this is fine. We can leave this. Moving down here, real world architecture and landmarks. Finding an image of a historic building, structural area. That's all good. Um, books, movies, offer many landscapes or places that are exotic. I see this video games that have an RPG play experience present dynamic environments to explore. Good pictures, paintings, landscape art done in oil, acrylic, or watercolor. That's all good. Um, uh, pre made role playing published adventures have many locations with maps. That's fine. Google search, Pinterest, Art Station, and Deviant Art for images of locations yes this section is I don't have to touch this this is easy how to create a location use real-world architecture plans layout deck plans of ships floor plans of buildings and ruins yes check out Sly Flourish's fantastic locations preparation methods uh, make it old large unique features functional and give it an interesting name focus on making the location a reusable set piece is really helpful for future preparation and many locations tend to repeat like villages towns cities castles strongholds uh, tombs pyramids maze um, mazes mazes although mazes are going to be different every single time temples shrine mine cave uh, uh, monster lair death trap dungeon your treasure vault sailing ship um, and then I've got a reference to the the d uh, the dungeon master guide for 5e i've got the page numbers where there's a whole lot of stuff around this what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to actually separate this out a little bit i think well, that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go down a one um ensure the location is interactive for the players because it is a tool for one of the as a tool of one of the pillars of play and exploration yes that's fine uh, draw a map with a digital tools or pen and pen, uh, pen or pencil and paper um, paper and pencil it's probably supposed to be paper and pencil I'll just I'll just adjust that now paper and pencil uh, change what you need or change or want to change your okay change what you need or want to change for change for your adventure i think that got that bit there label the map of the location all right i can only imagine the late night conversations about wearing an eraser um you are am i putting on an eraser no yeah honey <laughs> that's what fred calls it no 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 i'm not the one who's got the issue with this it's not me <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I've been told that I have to be careful by a few people uh, that uh, they get confused um, uh, you know <clears throat> so uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm ensuring that, <laughs> that you get the information you need so I'm going to add in Wally DM's book I'm going to add in the Pathfinder book I'm also going to add in 
I'm going to talk about the um, the Game Masters um, book of Random Encounters because, frankly, they're probably even better resources in many respects. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, certainly this one is the Game Masters. Darn it, Game Masters book of now. Uh, Book of Random Encounters. What I need to do, okay, so resources. I need to probably put down resources. Detailed information. Did I have a lot of that stuff down here? I don't think I did. I didn't mention any of that. Why did I not mention these, these books? Uh, book resources. Uh, resources. Resources. Come on. Resource, resources, come on. Uh, do I need to say book resources? No, I don't really need to. I just need to mention the books and what there's in it. So the entire thing, the book, the Game, Master bo um, Game Master's book of random encounters is all about locations. Uh, the next one that I would think is probably the next, probably best one out of there is actually the Pathfinder Role-Playing Game Game Mastery Guide. Um, the Pathfinder uh, Role-Playing Game um, bracket Game Mastery guide uh, and this is some pages on I'll give you the page numbers pages where is it so what's this what's this Fred um, all towns what's this all towns are laid out the same um, some rule ruler in there past was a, um, a micromanager <laughs> uh, but his city plans was good so people just kept doing doing them the same yeah a lot of them are laid out this is why i say you know when we, t we were covering towns why i was saying you'll find that a lot of this is actually pretty much the the same sort of layout um you've either got a straight road one straight road going right through the middle or you've got a crossroads and that's it so uh pages 176 no 78 is that a 78 it is a 78 um I, should I show you this? I probably should show you. I'll put the entries in, and then I'll show you what the Pathfinder book has got, okay? And then it goes through to... Uh, no, that's for... That's a different aspect of this. These are different locations. And it goes to 181. 102. 181. That is the Pathfinder role-playing game, game mastery book. And then we have Wally's book. Um, Wally DM's journal of, what is it? Um, puzzle. And because a lot of his puzzles deal with locations, you are essentially getting, even the puzzles are like locations in themselves. Um, puzzle encounters on pages. Oh, did I, I just closed the book again, didn't I? Page uh, 76 to page 79. 79. Okay, so let me just take that out of the way. I've got that down there. I've got that down here. I will show you uh, the Pathfinder book right now. And this is this is the Pathfinder book and the tables in, in it. So this gives you um, places to find a dungeon. So if you wanted to figure out where to put them, um, you know, with, where can you put a dungeon? They've got a, a table. It's not a full 100 items. I believe it is about 50 items. I can't remember exactly. Uh, types of dungeons are here. 
and then your dungeon entrances are here and then your dungeon rooms are here and it's probably not as extensive as you might want um, but they've put a, a fair amount in here uh, then it extends on to anything to do with um, mundane room characteristics are here uh, your exotic room characteristics and then your dressing so your um, there's a hundred pieces of uh, minor and major dungeon decor um, dressing or decoration on this page this after that it just turns into random charts for placing stuff there, I mean there are some headers there for different locations you could sort of poach and then build from there but essentially that's the information in that book that I thought was the most useful with regard to locations if if you've got that book already or you're thinking you wanted to pick it up and it's none of these books are in uh, my uh, affiliate links um, down below in the video so because <laughs> that's not really what I was thinking at the time when I was doing this live stream um, I wasn't thinking about that at all Hello Nacho Nacho Man, how's it going? Nacho Nacho Man is also a patron. How are you doing buddy? How are you doing? Okay, so we are heading into um, the the end of the stream, so I need to make sure that I get all of this done, which I should be able to. I'm going to leave the Dungeon Master Guide D&D 5e in here. Does anybody have um, 4e books? Or should I leave it alone? Because if I remember right, when I was looking through the 4e book, there is stuff, but it is, how can I say it? It includes a whole lot of different things that are kind of really useful, but you wouldn't want to buy the entire book for it. Do you know what I mean? And one of the problems with referring you to a book is it's another thing you have to buy. We don't want you doing that. What we really need is a resource that you can just access. That's that's the that's the key ultimately. Um, how's it going, Jeeves? Uh, da, 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 da. Hello, Todd. Todd is also a uh, patron. Um, if I missed anybody, I can't remember. You have the four, you have the three core bo books for 4E. Okay, so, okay, I'll put a placeholder to talk about 4E's Dungeon Master Guide. How's that sound? Um, because, I hate to say it, but the 4E Dungeon Master Guide might actually be better in many respects to the 5E one. <laughs> um... But off the top of my head, I don't remember exactly where that information is. Now, the good thing about it is, is that uh, I doubt Wizard of the Coast is going to be making any money off uh, that book because it's not in print anymore. <laughs> um, you're probably only going to get it as a PDF. And getting the PDF as a, um, a download is pretty easy nowadays. Um, has and question mark. We'll fill that in some of the time. Um, we've done all this location details we're almost done here people who created the location so location details and information who created the location okay so I have referred you to um, the dungeon master guide for D&D 5e on page 100 for that which I don't know we won't take it away because it's just another resource that you can use if you've got the book you'll use it right if I can find you something else that's free and you don't have to go and spend any money with, which I will, you can trust me, I will go find something. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm sure d, &D uh, 4 e um, DMG could be better than the 5e. I blame um, Crawford for that, do you? <laughs> I don't know why we're playing in Crawford. Uh, back at work uh, today after my holidays. So, uh, feeling why are you feeling depressed? I'll... I know the idea of going back to work sort of sucks sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so some ideas for creating who created it is in that uh, Game Master Guide. I'll leave that there, okay? What is the purpose of the location? I've again referred to this sodding book. I need to find a, a better way of getting this done. Do you know I will? I'll find a free website that probably offers all of this and you won't even need to use any of this. 
Um, what is the history of the location? Uh, what is the location? Why is the location important? And again, I've referred to the sodding block again. Okay. Uh, I guess one of the problems with uh, basing it all. What inhabits the location, the general population of the location? So actually this, although I can refer you to this book here, this is not the only book I can refer you to, as I, if, I, if I remember right. There is a nice section in the Pathfinder book that deals with populating different locations. So let me just find that entry. Um, yeah, I'll just go like this. Copy. And I'll add that in first. <laughs> Paste. Uh, and it's not called that. It's called... See the... Game... Mastery guide, um, and that is Pathfinder bracket Pathfinder one e um, on pages, and the page numbers for this are where are you? No, no, no. It's page 182. Okay, 182. 182. Right through to 183. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot of pages. But I can assure you there's probably more here than there is in the, the 5e book. Um, the Dungeon Master Guide for D&D 5e. Okay? It's probably got to done a better job. There's probably website, websites that do a better job than this. Um, okay, so next. Position hazards and obstacles in the location. Traps, puzzles, and natural hazards. See the... Do you know, the, this book has got such a pathetic attempt at dealing with this topic. It's really bad. Okay, so let's go here. Hashtag. Uh, hashtag? What am I doing in a Hashtag. I'm saying hashtag, but not actually doing hashtag. How did that work? Okay, so that's that book. But we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna send you to Wally DM's book because hazards, obstacles, and puzzles and traps is what he does. Copy, paste. There isn't. I don't think there's anybody, as far as I'm concerned, that does it better than he does on YouTube. There just isn't. Can you just full stop me? Full stop. All right. See? Um, Wally DM's journal. Journal uh, of... I wonder if he'll be calling it Wally DM's journal... Uh, Wally DM's journal of... Oh, that's right. We we're having a discussion about DM, and it's it's related to his name. Um, you blame Crawford for everything. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I, I, is that because he's always the one who's in the front of the camera? <laughs> okay, so see Wally DM's Journal of Puzzle Encounters. Frankly, if you're going to do hazards, obstacles, traps, puzzles, this is that that book is 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 pretty good superior to what anybody I've seen anybody else doing as far as I'm concerned or his or the Wally DM YouTube channel I mean the fact that he's got a channel that you can go and see how all this stuff is done for and it doesn't cost you anything you put up with a few ads and you're done it's pretty awesome if you ask me Okay, dressing um, objects, furniture, and adding features to the location with aspects that can be interacted with or manipulated so that exploration becomes the focus. So I've referred you again to the 5e book again. So we're going to put in an alternative because there is one. Uh, that's that page. So then we're going to go um, here. 
I'll just go this, copy this bit and change in the page numbers. It solves a lot of my problems. Copy and paste. Almost done. This this bit is almost done. Like that's 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 it. It's almost done. See pages. Uh, it's page 181. See page 181. Okay. And I've got that resource there. I think that's pretty much everything. Dressing. I don't think Wally does dressing. I don't think the the Game Master's Book of Random Encounters is not set up that way to do dressing, if I remember right. I could be wrong. Maybe in the back it does. I'll just check. Remember to hit the uh, the thumb, people. Ah, thank you, Jeeves. I do appreciate that. Let me just check to make sure this book has not got what I think it... Um, I mean, I had assumed that it doesn't. No, that's Curse Generator. That's the random tavern generator, name name generator. That is for NPCs. I believe, no, is it NPCs? Yes, that's the names, descriptions, and desires. That's the NPCs one. There's a few things that sort of don't quite... You wouldn't expect here. Ah, oh, hang on. Tables. Mini gallery, da 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 horrible hut. Um, Adventure-specific category tables. No, I don't think it's going to be hugely useful to you. Curse creator table, no. Making party makeup, no. No, this book is, I think, overall, it's not going to do dressing for you. It's not set up that way. Because each location within the, um, the Game Master book of Random Encounters is a, a room with a description, basically. And it has a map. And some suggestions on uh, how to run sort of an encounter there. Okay, so that's that bit done. Uh, miscellaneous recommendations. You don't have to be a good good at drawing a location map because you, you're not selling it. Yes, that's true, you, you, unless of course you are. Um, it's not necessary to use all learn map making software because they are there are alternative methods. Yes, there is. Um, so many different maps have been made for fantasy locations that you can steal and borrow existing maps. Absolutely. And then I've got my little breakdown for those things there. Castle is very long. And, oh, I almost forgot about you. I will change out a lot of this stuff. Um, I, Tyrant. Uh, I believe that's correct, and then I'm just going to go down here and highlight all of this that it needs to be shuffled out to uh, greener past pastures or made up, should I say, altered to solve a lot of our pro my problems. So the session notes are done. It is, I probably should go to work. You did, Fred, you, you literally, th this is what you had to put up with. Do not feel robbed. Do you not feel robbed? Why would you not feel robbed? <laughs> um, you you literally have. If it hadn't been abundantly clear, you've literally watched me rewrite stuff. Um, <laughs> so let's let's deal with some of the other aspects of this that I, I haven't actually done, which I still want to do. And I, I probably won't have time to in this, this stream. But I'm kind of curious. My bet is if I, ty if I type in dungeon room um, tables. Because if you had dungeon room tables, a lot of your problems are solved. It was a, it was a lesson plan and writing lesson plans. It was actually Fred. If anything, it's it's me showing to you that I guess one I don't have time to do it in the background, so I'm doing it as part of the live stream. Two, I'm doing it because I want to make a point and I want to shift the channel because of what's going on for many different reasons. Keep myself safe. Keep the sponsor safe. Give you what you need because whatever you're playing, I know some most of you are going to keep playing Dungeons and Dragons. That's fine. Or whatever you're playing, I, I want to be able to cater to more people. Do you know what I mean? And I, I keep tying myself down to one thing. So I need to stop doing that sort of thing. Resources for building a dungeon crawl in general. 
what do you know 48 dungeon room tables dnd tables random dnd tables pinterest i don't think tm pinterest is going to do me any good okay not really so we're not really wanting pinterest if i type in this here donjon is probably another huge resource that i may not have added um, that i could so here we go building building and mapping so mega mega dungeon design and philosophy part one two and three mapping the mega dungeon dungeons random dungeon generator which actually just makes it for you the mega dungeon random area generator interesting so there's actually quite a few things here that somebody has listed i probably need to go through all of these and actually check them out so this is what i'm going to do since i probably should go to work okay i'm going to take this link and i'm going to put it in the chat <laughs> and um it looks to me like uh, you should be able to find quite a bit of stuff um pretty easily if you ask me i think that won't be too hard um donjon i did i add donjon yes i did donjon is there but there's a whole lot of other resources so i'm going to switch away from what you're seeing right now back to the camera the hat is off because it's a hot day and uh, which means i need to go through each one of those little suckers don't i and actually figure out what's going on there um how's this going to work yes let's do this let's go over here i will drop it into here yeah pinterest confuses me too and i'm going to put this link in i want you, this looks like a, a link with a lot of different resources to check out for locations i will go through it myself so if you decide not to go through it and check it yourself i will go through and find the good stuff and um, siphon out the the garbage okay um kind of curious as to what this is oh so this is tables chamber vault but really it's is it that useful the d20s not hugely useful i find that yeah not hugely useful i think it's a pretty primitive looking um set of tools if you ask me yes i've given you homework homework i have homework as well so i will i will go through here and check all of that uh, at some point when i get a chance um dungeon table well we don't want a dungeon table it's actually a dungeon table for sale um random dungeons Gen general random dungeons general random dungeons is this something else i should f step one step two corridors doors okay so that's a pretty big list there i don't think the list for corridors is that great but okay but that's not really what chambers chambers size d20 i don't really know why we would need this chamber contents this is very primitive it's pretty primitive bellows uh that's a fairly extensive list i guess minor major uh, kegs this might be actually something to consider as well um I'm still deciding whether I get the traps, puzzles, and dungeons back um, book from um, by Jeff Ashworth. Uh, so Jeff, if if your uh, if your publisher is watching my live stream again, <laughs> which I doubt, um, and he uh, and and they decide that they you should email me, um, it's it's not a stab at you. I just haven't had a look at the book. <laughs> uh, dear. All right. So let's just drop that in there for now. Well, the idea is I do the work so you don't have to do the work. If we point you in the right direction for the right tools, you won't have to do so much. Yep. Okay, so we're going to close that off. We're going to close this down. We've done pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the results. It looks to me like I can run this. I just need to collect all a few more tools. Things that you can use for free. For free. For, 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 for. Okay, uh, where am I? We are almost ready to to get out of here and of course i'll be back tomorrow uh doing a different topic so now you know um how fred uh, goes about trying to sort out these programs uh kind of 
this this was tame. This took so much less time than any of the other things will will take me. This is this was like so easy in comparison. <laughs> it really it really was. Uh, so do you make your own locations for your role playing games? Yes, fifty four percent. Sometimes forty percent. No. So actually, the vast majority of actually making your own stuff, which is great. Okay. I just want to say. Thank you to my patrons. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I really do need the support. And I, uh, you are supporting more, not just whatever I upload to Patreon. You're supporting this program on YouTube as well. And its development into the future, uh, which is what we want. We want into the future. And um, I want to thank everybody who was part of the live stream, who commented or just watched or took part in the poll. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for re-watching my live streams. I know they're long and uh, any of the edited, edited videos you watch or the putting up with those shorts videos. So wherever you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, the night or the wee wee early morning, please look after yourself, your family and your friends. Be nice to your neighbours. We're going to do more of this. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s and make your own stuff.